this is part 72 of Ocarina of Time 3D, and we're going to be conquering the... And go ahead and click on part 74. Yeah, yeah. I mean, in all honesty, uh, we're not too excited, but we're going to no. try to be. Like we said, this is something, like, I think a couple parts back. We could have done this before the uh, Spirit Temple. Yep. Um, it's not even necessary what we're going to get. We won't, we're going to get an item, like, in the game. Yeah. We don't spoil it too much if you don't know what it is. It's but pointless. Just, we, we came back here at a later time because, like, I think we all said this in another part of Silver yeah. Gauntlet allowed you to get an extra key, and we want to get all the keys. So. Yep. Hey, we're big fans of showing yep. you everything. 100% you walkthrough. I was trying to show you as much as I could. Yep. So We could have come to this area, I believe we decided, right after the Shadow Temple. But we was that before the Spirit Temple, which is yeah, the same, same thing. Because yeah. <laughs> we've never repeated ourselves before right here. So. Well, we actually did repeat ourselves there. I said before the Spirit Temple, and you said after, after the, the Shadow, Shadow Temple. Temple. Hey, so. We're just making sure you're not confused. Not yeah. <laughs> but this really is just a series of like puzzle rooms. Is all it not is. Not a fan. Not a fan. I'm I'm more of a fan of things like the uh, the Twilight Princess's Cave of Ordeals yeah. and Wind Waker's um, Savage Labyrinth, where it's just combat, combat. I agree combat. with you right there. And like we get the same thing as the Dongo's Cavern like yeah. I hate when they do stuff like that like even though this is not a great place no like just a different theme kind of may stand out just a little bit more I'm surprised since we're in like the desert they didn't use like the sand just the spirit temple or yeah I agree because they uh, oh crap what was I thinking bottom of the well had some similarities to the yeah. like shadow temple and how that place looked exactly so I think that would have been a cool you know, effect at least. I mean, there's not uh -huh. a whole lot cool about this area. <laughs> I agree. Like, these puzzles, yeah, they're kind of, you know, uh. You yeah. need to use a lot of your items throughout the game. That's basically what this is, like, just using your items, like, throughout yeah. the game and solving puzzles. So, a cool little last test, but I'm with you. Just Straight on combat, level after level. That's yeah. what I would have really liked here. And plus, these puzzles aren't necessarily the most difficult. But they're not. Uh -huh. I mean, there's some, there's a little bit, you just have to make sure you do everything mm -hmm. because you need every key when you get to the end and that always reminds oh, no, me no you don't actually you do oh, not you, that's right. yeah if you go a certain way you can i'm not exactly sure how many keys it is but i know you can skip some of the keys and still get to the extra treasure in the oh, dungeon so that's not so bad uh-huh like i said we just we show to walk we want to show as much as we could so yeah. but it is kind of cool i wasn't that excited about coming here so no not at all <laughs> but like we said we get to use the hook shot again we get to use the lens of truth again we like we'll use the hammer and the hover boots and there's the white wolf holes in the desert in the desert again. Oh, that's it's like true. that literally saw the spirit temple. Yeah. We're like, what's it, some kind of loss in polar bear <laughs> thing or something? <laughs> Don't know what they're doing out here. Well, it's the same with like, it is neat seeing the, the Liz Alphos and the Stalfos and yeah. the Wolfos. Like, just to, you know, see some of those enemies again. And I think the first time I did this, that's when I was thinking, oh, we're going to get to fight a bunch of old enemies. And I yeah. was way cool with that. But well, how did the Gerudo use this, like, to train? I mean, combat, I I'm, combat I'm guessing, a but like, bit of it. Part of their training is to solve puzzles. I guess. And like collect <laughs> silver rupees or whatever. Hey, it works Even though I think somewhere in this mini dungeon or whatever you want, training ground, wherever yeah. you want to call it, I think they actually call them like white tokens or, or something like oh, that. Oh, yeah, they don't even call them the silver Like the hint. Like, yeah, the hint is like white tokens or something. Yeah. So. But, and this is the room that we couldn't get to without, uh, without the gauntlets because we uh -huh. had to move that giant block. Like likes are always a pain in the butt, of course. Yeah, uh -huh. But I like your strategy yeah, there, your just to uh, just to the, shoot them. The, the crazy thing about like the like likes is you have to hit them at the very top with those arrows, or you like don't hit them at all. Like it exactly. bounces off of them, which I guess their lower bodies are like really tough. I don't I know. Guess. Maybe, I guess they work out their abs a lot. <laughs> I like you can't tell by the way they look. No, they look like us drinking beer all the time. Yeah. But <laughs> but that was so frustrating though because once again. We got another treasure chest with the 200 rupees in it. Yes. And again, this late in the game, there's no point to it. And we talked about that with the 100 yeah, gold uh -huh. Spatula. Mm -hmm. it, it's, it's just such a stupid reward. Now, I do want to let you all know I knew what was actually in that treasure chest because oh, yeah. we do practice. Sure you and did. So that's sure one, you did. I, I did. <laughs> and so that's just one of those things where like, we just want to show you what's in the chest right there. If you yep. actually are using this as a 100% walkthrough, which I think most people aren't. Probably But there's not. probably a couple people out there that are. Yep. And they do actually, I will give them credit, they bring back some interesting concepts in this room. Like, 
when we're this room it's got like it almost looks like we're in the fire, fire temple, temple. Uh -huh. you know earlier it looked like we're back in the spirit temple so well, it's really resembling of uh, Gans Castle which we're going to here that's a good like point, you know actually. a couple parts so yeah that's actually a good point because we'll see a little water I get, yeah yeah so I guess it kind of stinks that we did it back to back and like you know this and then Gans Castle which we'll be going to in part 74 yeah. I yeah. think yeah, cause um, we're yeah here 74 for, <laughs> we're here for two parts uh, unfortunately yeah so unfortunately can't go too fast through here and it's all because of this spinning platform right here. <laughs> well, Although it's actually the harder than it looks. I mean, well, especially because the eyes aren't the same level on all four sides. You know, you actually Oh, gotta, that's totally it. It's <laughs> it's a different level that I can't do it. <laughs> As well, with the, with the 3DS, it's a heck of a lot easier. I will that say that. True, that but, is true. Yeah, that's a good point with the N64 version. Like, just simple things like shooting arrows like that. Yeah. Like, there's a lot more tough in that version. It really was. There's one thing Need that... Need gyro controls on the N64. Dude, they're awesome. They're awesome. <laughs> there's one thing that just frustrated me, or that this reminded me of though was because there's so many keys it made me think of the key cavern from Link's Awakening yeah especially because you get to the end of that you dungeon. love that dungeon oh dude I'm pretty sure it was bottom of it my it's pretty close it was bottom or near to it in my ranking I think we ranked colored dungeon really low because yeah um, like there's not much to that dungeon so no, it didn't add a whole lot to the game no but the key cavern just frustrated me because you get to the very end and you have like four blocks you have to unlock and if you miss one key oh, somewhere oh yeah that's true you gotta figure out where and this it is a lot like that because at the very end we're we'll, we'll, we'll kind of talking about when we get there but yep. same, like it's a very good related concept right it, there it is. good job Brett hey good every job. now and then every now and then we like to you nailed we, that one we like to relate our Zelda games speaking of nailing it nice shot on that uh, hey, fire yeah, every key once in a while every, every once now and then dude like it seems like I either nailed them or I missed them like five or six times <laughs> I'm the same it's one, one of those <laughs> things when you're recording like if you, if you don't hit him the first time, you get rattled. Yep. And then you miss him the second time, and you're like, okay, now I'm starting to look stupid. <laughs> then you miss him the third time, you're like, dang it. It's like, I'm going to go back out of this room and come back in and yeah, try and it. Yeah, and one of those things recording, it never goes the way you plan it, but every once in a while, yep. it does. Another frustrating thing about this area is there's no mini-map. There's no map no, for No, it's it. not. Well... That's what drives me nuts is it actually has the map of Hyrule like yeah. in the lower right hand part. So it's like if you had like a mini map like the bottom of the well has a map, yeah, you uh -huh. know, I mean at least you have an idea of where you are. But there's so many different doors, I mean, that you've seen. Well, like you said, like right here it's kinda of, okay, we got two doors right here. Yeah. Like you're really not sure like which one you came out of. Now I looked at the chest and like know oh, which one to go exactly. to, but if you're not paying attention, you're like, well, which door? You don't have that, like, yellow or red arrow, whichever yeah. one it is that just showed where you came oh, into I the like room that. from. Like, it, it could help you out in that way. Just It absolutely would. I mean, if they're going to put an area like this, I wish they would have just done a little bit more. Like you said, like kind of like a map, maybe a compass. Yeah. Maybe made it more of a mini dungeon like that was voluntary. Because didn't even the ice cavern have a map to it? Yeah, it did. Uh -huh. So uh -huh. it's like... I guess I would consider this somewhat of a mini dungeon. I would consider I mean, a mini dungeon. Uh -huh. But it's by far... It's a training ground. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's my least favorite if you think, you know, the bottom of the well, you think Ice Cavern. This is probably my least favorite. It's a favorite. waste of time. Like, well, it's a waste of time this late. Like, yeah. Yeah, if you would have done it before the Spirit Temple, maybe it wouldn't feel like that. So I guess it's kind of yeah. like where you do it. Like, I actually would recommend, like, if you don't care about getting all the keys... And all the treasure chests. Like, I would do this before the Spirit Temple because... Yeah, absolutely. When you get done with the Spirit Temple, most people want to go straight to Gain's Castle and not mess with bullcrap like yeah. this, so... <laughs> but again, with the with the reward being as optional as it is, it's kind of hard to find the motivation to do this, period. Yeah, that's true. Well, you don't know that at the time, though. Very true. Like, you see this place, it only costs 10 rupees, you're like, well, that's a steal right there, I'm might as well out. do it. But anyways, this will go ahead and wrap up uh, Part 72 of Ocarina of Time 3D.